savior not the doctor but the realist no time for the pictures i'm on the two just building and i grew up on the block with the killers we was thugging it out trying to down a few rocks yeah creeping like back in the 80s I never shot a 380, I'm trying to kill him, little baby. I was 11 when I got my first Glock. And I'm an Indian chief, yeah. And I'm pretty real proud of it. Except the Christ, he live inside of me. Even though I changed my life, I'm still just riding. Still riding around with the Glock. Call me black or African. Guarantee, little baby, if I come through your lane. You know I'm punching you out. Vega Bond in my city. They used to love me like big, yeah. But if I die, they call me Pac Chief and Seven Disney's the realest. If I smell smoke, I'm fanning it out. Now, let's see. It may be some people in the stream that don't understand why we choose to call ourselves Aboriginal or Indigenous or Indian. So let me break it down. Or it may be some people viewing the video later that don't understand that. Why do we choose to call ourselves the original inhabitants of America? Let's just hit some quick facts, y'all. So a lot of y'all in the chat know these facts. That's cool. Rock with it. We're going to go over some facts that y'all don't know in just a second. But rock with it, y'all. We got to do it for the viewers. Now, check me out. The starting point for anybody that's wondering, like, why are these niggas calling themselves Indians? The starting point should be this. School. Educational systems. Governmental agencies. They want us to believe, the Founding Fathers, they want us to believe that they brought roughly, the, the, the numbers all vary, y'all. They want us to believe that they brought roughly 10 million, million, y'all. That's 1,000 times 1,000. That's 1,000 times 1,000. That's what a million is. Just remember, just keep the numbers in track. They want us to believe, believe, to belie Eve. That's what the serpent did, belie Eve. Can that ducked off? But um, anyway, let me say this. Why do Negroes call themselves Americans? Why do we consider ourselves this? So first of all, I gotta say the slave trade. They want us to believe that anywhere from 10 million, I've heard some accounts like um, I've read so many books on slavery and stuff. Some accounts say 90 million. Wow. 90 million people, uh, 80 million people, 70 million, but let's just keep it in context. They want us to believe anywhere from 10 million people to 40 million people were brought on ships from Africa to America. 1 million is 1,000 times 1,000. So now you get 1,000 times 1,000 times 10. Remember, I only have third grade education, so y'all bear with me. My math may not be all that. But we got 1,000 times 1,000 times 10, and that's 10 million. That's a big number. Now we got 1,000 times 1,000 times 10 times 4? That would be 40 million, right? Somebody get a calculator. I don't know. But, you know what I'm saying? Somebody get a calculator. But that's what they want us to believe. That you put thousands. All right, now, look. We got the numbers, right? We got the numbers. I'm just breaking this down. I know this is something some of y'all like, oh, we already know this. And it's cool. It's cool. We're doing it for the people who don't know it. Now, they want us to believe that. Anywhere from 10, let's just stick to 10 million. Let's just say, oh, they brought 10 million blacks. Whatever they call us, niggas, Africans, whatever they was. They brought 10 million people. Okay, now, Christopher Columbus discovered America in 14. Wait a second, wait a second. Pause. That nigga ain't discovered nothing. How you gonna discover something that's already here? Yeah, hey, 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 power back in the booth. Look, Christopher Columbus set sail in 1492 and so happened to have stopped on the little bitty island of Haiti of little Haiti you know what I'm saying he, he stopped on Haiti right uh, so let's say he hit the South American region or the island region of the Americas we know the Americas is north south I don't know why they call it central but hey 
we're gonna call it central, but the middle part. But he, we we know the Americas to be North, South, Central America, Australia. People don't want to say that, but Australia is actually a, a island of America. You heard it here first, and I stand on it and I build on whatever. That's probably the weakest statement I've ever made since I've been on YouTube that someone could actually prove me wrong because I just, literally, that just popped in my head. Now I'm playing anything popped in my head, but that's something I've been building on, studying on it to myself. Australia is really right here. Like they think it's, oh, Australia's so far away. Australia's really right there. A little rock throw away. That's an island of America. That's why we look like them. That's why our hair curls and coils just like theirs. Because them our people. And that's just where they're over there genetically testing our people and using all this stuff. That's why they're trying to kill everybody off with these brush fires and stuff. NASA's showing you live feed of the brush fires from space. What is space? But, all right, check this out. So, 1492. The La Quinta, the Pinta, and the Santa Maria. Them the three ships, right? The La Quinta, La Pinta, and the Santa Maria. Right? So we got the Quinta Pinta Santa Maria. No, I'm playing, y'all. I'm going to stop playing. But anyway, um, what they were doing. Now, y'all know, yeah, some, for some of y'all, this information is already, that's cool. You probably learned it off my channel anyway. Or whoever taught you learned it off my channel anyway. Because I'm the only one breaking it down to the least common denominator, y'all. Make sure you subscribe, like, share, comment in the bill for now. Tune in the Chief Sabian Indigenous. Higher, 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 higher power back in the booth. But look, um, so we got the Quinta La Quinta La Santa Maria. All right, um, why, why did Christopher Columbus end up from Spain? Because he was a Spaniard slash Moor. He was a dirty Moor. You know what I'm saying? I'm not calling Moors dirty. Y'all know if anybody know the, the dirty Moor is a term, which means uh. A person who is a race traitor or someone who goes against their own people. That's what dirty more means. So don't think that I'm calling these people dirty. Some of them niggas dirty, some of them ain't. But look, um, what I want to say is that Christopher Columbus, which I got a, y'all can check out my Christopher Columbus video, y'all, but this is just to let y'all know that I just, what's it? Oh, yeah, 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 because it's the same, it's the same place. Like, I, I, I stand on that statement and, they can find anybody in the country community to come trying to debate me and debunk me and all that stuff and I'm gonna stand on that statement and I'm gonna destroy them. Y'all know I'm already I'm always prepared for an intellectual shootout. You know what I'm saying? I'm ready. I'm shooting straight from the mind. Boom, 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 boom. So um check this out. I think that'd be a good shirt. Show me holding two pistols right here at the mine. Like my two hands like this from the mine. Intellectual shootout. I'm gonna have to trademark that. If my trademarker is inside here, make sure you handle that for me. Nah, uh, but for real though, yeah, on everything, intellectual shootout, you know what I'm saying, but I swear, look, you been not nice, I'm coming right over there, give me a whole inventory, alright, so check me out, yeah, I don't know, you want, oh, now these ain't even the one, these are the one, these are the one, these are the one, these are the one, different kinds, right, man, I be trying them out, that one, that one, that one, so check me out, check me out, Get the light, huh? So check me out. Why did Christopher Columbus set sail? Did he set sail for the Americas, or did he? We know the story. School tell you the story, but you know what I'm saying. Your brother gonna break it down a little bit more. He actually was trying to find. All right, it was Queen. It was King Fernandad and Queen Isabella. Y'all thought I was gonna say Queen Elizabeth, huh? Queen Isabella. Of Port no King Fernandad of Portugal, King Queen Isabella of Spain, or it could be reversed. Just check out my Christopher Columbus video if I got it mixed up. Oh well, I ain't having mixed it up then, cause ain't nobody debunked it still. <laughs> but check me out. Um, he was he was basically paid and made to find an eastern, I mean a western trade route. This is how dumb Europeans is, y'all. This is how stupid the world was back then in Europeans. Now, everybody knows that before the advent of Christopher Columbus, that the world as a whole knew that the earth was flat. People don't realize this, that 
the whole globe thing comes about in 1492. Nobody knows that, right? Nobody knows that the whole that before then the Catholic, the Roman Catholic Church, Catholic like a cat licking some, the Roman Catholic Church, for real, the Roman Catholic Church, y'all, was burning people alive was burning people alive at the stake if they said that the world was round. Did y'all know that? Did y'all know the Roman Catholic Church was burning people alive if they said that the world was uh, round? Yes. The world was flat. Everybody knew it. They had all the maps showing here they be monsters and beyond this point you fall off and things of that nature. Y'all seen the ancient maps? Hey, I got an ancient map video coming up, by the way. Great video. A great Exactly. Cliff Clark, you ran you ran old boy out, man. I want to read some of that stuff. No, I'm playing, I'm playing. Hey, uh, yeah, man, I got some strong, I got some strong builders up in here with me. You can't just come through my stream just saying no anything, man. My chat, my chat is ready, y'all, like, for real, for real. Like, you can't just come through my stream commenting and know anything, man. These brothers ain't, these brothers and sisters know they stuff, you know what I'm saying? So I can't even, they gonna catch me if I'm slipping. So they definitely gonna catch y'all if y'all slipping in that comment section, man. So salute, salute to all the moderators, salute to everybody up in that thing. Let's keep building, yep. Yep, let's keep building. So check me out. So he was, this is how, okay, okay. So what they decided, they say, Christopher Columbus found an ancient map, not the Piri Reese, but one similar to the Piri Reese map that had just an edge of South America on that map. People don't know this. It's facts. Look it up. Check out my Christopher Columbus video. Look it up. Now, he found an old ancient map because he was a, see, Christopher Columbus was a spy. He was a thief. He was all kinds of things that people don't like to talk about. Yeah, he was a spy. Dan Calloway, I know you got that from me too, brother, but it's cool. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. But damn, hey, y'all, when y'all see these bigger channels, make them recognize me, man. Because everybody want to get my information, but nobody don't want to give me no shout out. But it's cool. It's cool. I love y'all. Y'all, all my brothers and sisters and stuff, I love y'all, but. Say, man, we're going to keep it 100. I brung that information, you know what I'm saying? I brung that. You may have went and researched it and found it too, but I brung that information. My video was out before his video was out. But anyway, let's keep it Let's keep it funky. I'm out of funky town. Let's keep it funky. We're going to keep it funky and pee. Now, check me out. Now, this is a cigar, by the way, y'all. Not, not, not a blunt. Y'all know I used to smoke big blunts on my channel, but not a blunt. Just a cigar. Now check me out. By the way, y'all, be on the lookout for my herbal teas coming out. I'm going to come out with a brand of herbal teas. Just be on the lookout. Just, just, just stay patient and shop with us. Just stay patient and shop with us. All right, check me out. Now... Where was I at? Christopher Columbus nigga ass. Okay. Queen Isabella and Queen Fernandez. Okay. Uh, Christopher Columbus is a spy and all of that. Okay. Dan Calloway didn't shout me out for bringing up that information. Okay. We're moving past all that. Now. I had to make sure I put that part back in there. You know what I'm saying? But look. We we, we ain't tripping. We, we master building. You know what I'm saying? We building up in here. Y'all know. We ain't tripping. I ain't a narcissist. I don't want credit for everything. I don't want credit for everything. The information is available for everybody. Just y'all just give credit where credit's due. You know what I'm saying? That's all I'ma say. I love everybody. But check me out. How much time we working on? Oh, we we working on two hours and twenty minutes. Okay, okay. This is a light deal. This is a light. I'm not in rare form yet. Y'all know I do this shit for ten hours straight. And then I ain't even got people questioning me in the chat like usual. This is just all off of one continuous topic and build, you know, saying how it's just, you know what I'm saying, it's just hard, it's hard for people to do this, I don't got Google or Wikipedia in front of me, now check me out, no notes, there's no notes, y'all see my eyes, my eyes ain't looking nowhere, you know what I'm saying, nowhere but at the screen, 
and I'm blind as hell anyway, so I couldn't have anything anywhere without no glasses on. So boom. We stated all that. Why did I bring up Christopher Columbus? Okay, okay, okay. We was talking about I wanted to just break it down on why we call ourselves Aboriginals or Indigenous or Indians. And the reason is because the slave trade. Let's look at the Santa Maria and the Quinta and the Pinta. Why? Were those gas-powered ships? No. Were those steam-powered engines? No. I talked about that earlier in the stream. Steam-powered engine didn't come out until um, 1908. Henry Ford created the first combustible engine. He didn't create it. Henry Ford plagiarized the first combustible engine in 1913. I mean, 1912. So we know those two facts. So we know way 400 years prior, five, six hundred years prior, we know this nigga, these, these, these Europeans were using sailboats, wind power. I don't know if you call it a vehicle. Or, they were on sailboats. You know, if the wind good today is blowing, but what the reason why I'm gonna get off Christopher Columbus? I got a whole video on it. But the reason why I brought up Christopher Columbus is because I just want to show y'all that his voyage it took him anywhere from four to six months to find Americas with a map. With a map, we know about the currents in the seas. How the currents run all crazy between here and Africa. Now let's look at the distance. Africa is 9,000 miles away from here. From our coast to their coast is 9,000 miles away. Roll, roll, roll your boat. Them type of boats. Yeah, that type. He don't give credit to nobody. I already know it. Man, Edison stole a bunch of shit from Black. I already know it. I got juice. I'm coming out, but don't know how to get it out. Man, I, I, I'm a, uh, I'm, you hear it. Your brother support everybody. I, I support it, bro. Like, I'll help you get it out. For real, for real. I'll be sitting on stream sipping something. Tell them where it came from. For real, I'll help you with that, bro. I'll help you with that, for real, for real. Now, check me out. On the flip side. The distance. We know the time and era. We know the vehicles. The vehicles are wind-powered boats. They don't go very fast. They're large. They're made out of wood. We know the distance is 9,000 miles away. We know the time it took. It takes four to six months to get back and forth. Now we know the number. What is the number? 10 million? 10 million people. Back and forth. 9,000 miles away. Row, row, and row in a boat. <laughs> now look. Now let's do the math, y'all. Y'all know I only have a third grade education here. So I'm not that good at math, y'all. I'm not that good at math. But let's just do a little mathematical equations. That's too much damn math for me. Divide 10 million. Divide 10 million between... I don't know. Say Let's, let's lie and say they had a 10,000 votes. Let's lie and say they had 10,000 votes. We know a million is a thousand times a thousand. Let's say they had 10,000 votes. Dude, the math just isn't there. The math is just isn't there. The math just isn't there. It's no way possible. It's no way possible, y'all. Like, my brain don't my brain them fry trying to do that math problem. I don't got a piece of paper long enough to divide that. And I'm giving them credit and saying they had 10,000 ships, which they didn't. They didn't. They didn't have 10,000 ships. They didn't. Now, let's look at the environment of these ships. Have y'all seen the diaphragms? Y'all seen the diaphragms, what they say the ships look like? <laughs> Niggas laying. <laughs> Niggas planked out, stacked up on shelves, chained up to each other. No restroom breaks. No restroom breaks, right? Now, y'all know Chief Sabi, I, I fasted 44 days and 44 nights. No food. No nutrition at all. Not one morsel of food. Not one bread crumb. I fasted 44 days. That's nowhere near six months. That's nowhere near six months. But let's say they was giving them niggas a crust of bread every, every seven days. That's cool. They can have enough bread. 
water. Now, hey, y'all, like, I ain't a narcissist, y'all. I'm not a narcissist. I'm not egotistical. I'm not big-headed. I'm not big-chested, which is haughty. Player. I'm the one who brought forth the, the fact that they ain't have enough water on them ships. That was me that said that. I said it on many people's streams, not just on my platform. I went on many people's platforms and said, hey, they ain't have enough water for them people. Because I've been fasting and I know that you need water. The human body. I'm well hydrated, so I can go maybe 10 days. I can. I can go maybe 10 days without water on a good hydrated day if I start off on a good hydrated day I can go 10 days without water then I'm dead I'm shriveled up like a little bitty raisin my hair gonna be long long all the way down my back people don't know that's where hair look if you want hey, look if anybody want their hair to grow faster let me give y'all a secret this chief Sabi right here I'm gonna give y'all a little known but very very factual hair secret that I determined myself y'all so this is another first y'all finna hear it if y'all struggling with your hair growing, like your hair taking too long to grow, you want your hair to grow along faster? Fast. I'm going to tell you why. Or dehydrate yourself for a little bit. I'm going to tell you why. When a human body, right, when the human dies, everybody thinks it's a big known myth. They think that when a person dies, their hair keeps growing. That's not true. Your hair is longer than what's above the scalp. Your hair is already growing inside your head. People don't know that. So when you die, your body shrivels. It dehydrates. As it loses hydration, that hair comes out of your head. So therefore, if you're doing a, a systematic fast, because when you fast, you're losing hydration anyway. Even though you're going to drink more water, you're losing hydration because your food has hydration in it. And a lot of the food you eat helps your body process that hydration. Get what I'm saying? Just a little quantum physics and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? Just a little something with my little third grade education. Like, so when you fast, when you fast, you're actually, your hair is going to grow faster. You deprive yourself of sleep for more than 24 hours, you will feel your hair grow. You can actually feel your hair grow. Your hair grows every day. And you can actually feel it. If you stay up past 24 hours and feel that tingling in your scalp, that's your hair growing. People don't know that. People don't know that because they never stayed. I stayed up 21 days. I fasted 44 days. I stayed up 21 days. Two different occasions, by the way. That 21 days I stayed up, I fasted for 21 days also, and I ain't sleep. So I pretty much, you know what I'm saying, I know how to, I know how to, the inner body work, you know what I'm saying? I done push my body to the limits. I'm not suggesting that. Let me say a disclaimer. Cause I know how these day and errors is. Somebody have been and died and blamed it on me. We ain't going to court. I ain't Dr. Savy in that way. I'm not. I can't go to court with you. I can't go fight it out in court. None of that, y'all. I'm not suggesting anybody fast at all. I'm not suggesting you dehydrate yourself at all. I'm not suggesting you deprive yourself of sleep because after that. After that, like, seven-day mark, you're going to become delirious. You're going to start hallucinating. You're going to develop psychosis. Natural order of things. You're going to develop psychosis. You get what I'm saying? After that seven-day, you're going to develop, um, what is it called, um, schizophrenic traits. If you stay up past seven days, I'm telling you, it's just a fact. I stayed up 21 days and I developed psychosis. Oh, well, it's temporary. It went away. Got to fast it away. Now, check me out. For those that just coming in the stream, you now tuned in with Chief Sabi, indigenous. Higher, higher, higher power back in the booth. Now, check this out. Now... Why did I bring up hair and stuff? Okay, okay. That was just a little inclusion. That was just a little commercial for y'all. If y'all struggling with growing your hair, you know what I'm saying? You're going, I don't know, not if you're going bald. I can't save you if you're going bald. But if you got hair and you want it to be longer, quicker, just dehydrate yourself for a day. Then overhydrate yourself that next day. Then drink less water that next day. And overhydrate. You'll see your hair grow in a week, and I promise. You want to see your hair grow an inch in a month? You want to see your hair grow like two, three inches in a month? 
do that. Go on a go on go on a um what's them call it? and then just let everybody know. Hey, my set my hair grew because she said me and Disney told me to dehydrate myself and overhydrate myself in a in a um in a cycle. Thank you, sis. In a cycle. Do it in a cycle, just like fasting. You don't have to go hard. I fasted 44 days and I did it because I was forced to, honestly. If it, I did it because I was forced to, I don't eat while I'm incarcerated, period. If it's not inside a package, I'm not eating it. And unfortunately, nobody knew I was in jail but the person who put me in jail. And so I was in there starving. But after like the 12th, 13th, 14th day, I didn't even, I wasn't even hungry no more. When I got out, my stomach was so shriveled up, I was throwing up my food. I couldn't even eat. When I got out, I, was, I went in, I was 235 pounds. Overweight. I got out, I was 180 pounds. I was 180 pounds. Really, I was less than that. I'm like, 100, I'm like 200 pounds now. I'm like 190, 195 right now. But when I got out of my 44-day fast... I was roughly about 170 pounds, 175 pounds. So when I say I fasted away 40, 55 pounds in 44 days, I really fasted away more than that. But I'm not suggesting anybody go through that rigorous of a fast because I also fasted away from sex, um, responsibility, stress, um, things of that nature. You know what I'm saying? So I don't suggest y'all do that. You know what I'm saying? Not everybody body, but test your body. Go and when I say fast. You can drink as much water as you want. If you can't do a fast with just straight water, try um, protein drinks and stuff. Yes, that's cheating. I didn't have none of that. I did straight water, but I fasted my for years, so I'm I'm used to it. You get what I'm saying? When you start building with the um, Nation of God and Earth, the Five. When you start building with the Five, way back then when I was when I was building with the Five, I never been a member of any organization. But I'm saying when I was building with the Five back then. Before you learn the lessons, you got to do a three-day liquid fast. And I thought I was going to die. Like, bro, I can't eat for 72 hours, bro. And then when I was building with the, with, with the um, when I was going through my degrees of Islam, you know what I'm saying, Ramadan, oh, gosh, you can't drink or eat for 12 hours? Oh, bro, I'm finna die. Oh, man, I'm tired. I'm hungry. 12 hours, that's it? Just during the daylight? I was the hottest time of every year. The hottest time of every year. So that... So I was prepared. Just know I I, I did multiple three day liquid fasts um, to build myself up. Then I went through three or four Ramadan. I went through like three or four Ramadans to build myself up. And then it's just like now. By the way, I'm not a Muslim, y'all. Never have been. Never will be. But by the way, I mean by by the way, it's like oh I'm about to say it again. By the way, I'm not a Muslim. I'm not, I'm not part of any organized anything, y'all. Never have been. Never will be. So check me out. So I worked my body up to this. Then I went on my 21 day. Before I went on the 21 day fast, I honestly did do a um um before I went on the 20. See, the 21 day fast was more rigorous than my 30 day fast that I did prior to that. I did a 30 day fast in what? No, I did a 28 day fast. A 28 day fast in 2014. I fasted for 28 days straight. 28 days straight with about three cups of water and I was about 150 pounds and I knew that wasn't it you know what I'm saying so then I turn around in 2017 I did a 21 day fast I didn't sleep I didn't eat all I did was drink water and Powerade all I did was drink water Powerade and Gatorade for 21 days straight with no sleep, y'all. I was out of my mind, crawling around. I was crawling around the house with nothing but my drawers on and two pistols like your Samini Sam peeking out the windows. But that's what I'm saying. I pushed my body past the... You get what I'm saying? So when I'm talking about the human body, I know what the human body can do and can't do. And you can't go without water. So that brings me back to the point. We got the distance 9,000 miles away. We got the number 1,000 times 1,000, which is a million. And... 10 million and boom there goes my head so we got 10 million africans coming across to the americas on little bitty sailboats stacked like sardines with feces oh i feel bad for them niggas that was on the bottom of them ships who was on the bottom level Ugh. that's what they should have ranks hey, i was a, i was a top shelf nigga 
I was a top shelf African. See, my people world on the top shelf of them slave boats. Looking ass. Hi, yeah, power. Look, and them dudes like, so they want us to believe that we came 200 deep. Now look, water. Why does a, a, a boat sink? Why does a ship sink? Now, if you poke a hole inside of a wooden ship or any ship, a metal ship, a tin can ship, a aluminum ship, if you poke a, a hole in a ship, water comes in in the weight because water is heavier. If you ever lift it up, see, when I was in prison as a youth, we used to put water in a trash bag. We used to fill it up. By the way, I'm sipping on number alkaline, baby. I sip on number alkaline. So anyway, um, we used to put water, right, inside bags, inside trash bags. And we used to make weights out of water. Ugh. We'll make weights out of water, right? Because water is heavier than the metal weights, if people don't know that. You get water, and water is heavier than metal. I hope that makes sense because that kind of didn't make sense to me. But anyway, we used to lift up trash bags full of water. That's what I'm going to say. That's how we used to get strong. We used to trash bags full of water. We used to lift waste water. Uh, uh. Anyway, that's how we used to get strong because the water weight is heavier. It's like a dead carcass. It's like a carcass. It's heavy. You get what I'm saying? That's what water weight is. So anyway, I'm just talking about I got off subject getting my little muscle on y'all see my workout that's all my workout for the whole month but anyway um what i was bringing up the water for is because if you poke a hole in a ship because water is full of life now we all know water is full of life but i want to say it's dead weight you can't carry a bag of water on your back all day you can carry a bag of books weighing the same thing but a bag of water is a little something different it's like carrying a human on your back all day i don't know i don't carry humans but check me out you poke a hole in the ship the water comes in and what does it do it sinks because a water a ship is made to to sail on the water in the water not full of water so you get a hundred let's just say 100 but they you got claims you got diaphragms and claims that there was hundreds of people on one ship and when you get let's say there was 100 people i don't see 100 people going into one ship by the way i just don't see it 100 people going into one this ain't a yacht this is a ship made out of wood with sails and rope and tomato paste no i'm playing with um whatever the hell they used to paste them uh, wood sap think about how many trees maybe that's why africa ain't got no trees they made them all into boats Maybe that's why Africa ain't got no trees and no grass and shit. They made ships out of it. I don't know. <coughs> yeah. Yeah. I get it. Like, I don't know. Maybe they did. But listen, I, I find it hard to believe. Let's do the math. Like, y'all know. Like, I live in, I got living mathematics. I speak mathematics. So, therefore, I don't know school educational mathematics. But I know just enough to disprove the slave trade. <laughs> so, check me out. We, don't keep, we ain't going to bring up the 10 million. We know a million is a thousand times a thousand. We're not going to bring that up. We're going to just say, we're just going to bring up 1,000 people. I mean, uh, no, nah, you ain't put a thousand on the boat. Come on, Negro. 100 people. We're going to put 100 people on a canoe. No, nah, not a canoe, but a sailboat on a ship. We're going to put 100 people on a ship. Cool. They're stacked up like little plankton. I mean, uh, like little sardines. Okay, cool, cool. However they did it. Where did, where did the crew members sleep? Where did the crew members sleep? Okay, then maybe they had above deck cabin. Maybe they had two of them, a little two-seater. Huh? So maybe they, they had above crew. Okay, so we'll give them that. The cabin slept up there. Where did you store the food? Okay, you didn't feed the niggas. Let's say you only fed the niggas a corner of bread every week. That's a lot of bread for a six-month journey. Let's say they did the journey in three months. Let's say they had real fast. They, they was blowing in the cells. <sighs> they was blowing in the cells to get here. So let's say they did it in three months. So in 90 days, in 90 days with 100 crew, with, 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 with let's say a general crew of a, a humongous ship to bring 100 people. Just 100. Remember, 
a uh, one million people is a thousand times a thousand. Remember, one thousand is a hundred times ten. Remember, a thousand times a thousand is a million. So y'all did this how many times? All right, let's see, let's see. So they got a hundred Africans on a boat. That's below deck. Dead weight. Remember, these are humans. Remember, some of them are dying. Remember, when you die, you you you, you get water and moisture out the air and stuff even though your body is dehydrating your stomach and your limbs are swelling up but your head is shrinking shrinking like the dude off Beetlejuice you know what I'm saying got the lit head so turn around so there's dead bodies on this ship remember there is dead bodies on this ship because niggas ain't eating niggas ain't drinking so but period a hundred humans back then Africans were huge Y'all know that, right? That's why they claim they got them. That's why they claim they made them slaves, right? These ain't no 50 pound guys. These are 100 pound and plus. No, 100 pound is little. These are 150 pound plus men. So what's 150 times 100? I don't know. My math ain't that good. But let's say 1500 times. Let's say 150 times 10 is 1500. 10 times 10. So 1500 times 10 would be 150 thousand no fifteen thousand pounds with a hundred people weighing a hundred and fifty pounds apiece which we know no nah, these niggas two hundred plus plus these big old big booty women is probably two two hundred plus nothing but rump let's just keep it one hundred so we know that there's fifteen thousand pounds worth of human flesh not hundred this is 15,000 pounds of human flesh with 100 people. Y'all get what I'm saying? 15,000 pounds of human dead weight on this boat. Now, how do you feed 100 people one square inch piece of bread? We know they had them big old loaves back in the day. One piece of bread ain't going to... You know what I'm saying? So maybe it was a thick slice. How you feeding them if they chained up and stacked on top of each other and laying on flat on their back and looking up at the sky and shit and pissing all feces and urine falling on them? How does that happen? How do you feed these people while they're stacked up like they're stacked up like sardines in your wooden boat? Fifteen thousand pounds of people below decks where all the weight is centered, so this boat is barely moving. I'm just painting a picture. This is just one sailboat with just 100 people. This is just one sailboat with 100 people having to go 9,000 miles away. One sailboat with 100 people. One slave ship. One slave ship is going to have 100 people in it, right? But I'm telling you, them diaphragms say that they had way more. But I'm just showing y'all the simple mathematics because I'm, I'm a simple guy. I only got a third grade education. So I'm just using the simple mathematic, but according to the scholars, according to the scholars, there was hundreds of people on them boats on one little bitty slave ship. So look, the distance from America to Africa, 9,000 miles. The, the status of the ship that we were brought on is weak as hell because it, the, the ship has no motor has no steam engine has no combustible anything on it it's wind powered cell powered man powered boat but wait there's nobody rowing the boat because everybody is chained down and stacked on top of each other so therefore there's no oars so we know it's not a rowboat so don't let them try to trick us don't let them try to trick us y'all they're going to come back in a few years and try to rewrite history but we rewriting history right now right here and so let's say it's a hundred people on this wooden casket floating in the air because that's all that'll be with 15,000 pounds of people in it I bet this the, the, the let's do it let's 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 recreate a slave ship y'all how about a hundred of us gather together we supply our own supplies let's create a slave ship out of heavy wood whatever kind of wood they had over there let's recreate a slave ship y'all and then put a hundred strong men and women healthy men and women oh and children on that boat roughly weighing about 20,000 pounds of human flesh let's put 20,000 pounds anywhere from 15,000 to 20,000 pounds of human flesh 
inside that wooden boat and let's see what it does. I'm telling you where y'all niggas gonna be. Cause I ain't getting in the boat. I'm just gonna help y'all build it. I'm telling you where y'all gonna be. Y'all gonna be exactly where them niggas off the Titanic at. I'm telling you. You ain't gotta hit an iceberg. You ain't gotta hit an iceberg. I'm telling you where y'all. I'm, I'm gonna help y'all build it. But this is just for. We're gonna call it Naysayer Slave Ship. All the naysayers go get y'all. Oh, this is gonna be called the naysayer slave ships, and we're gonna build it in the middle of the ocean, so they ain't got nowhere to go. And we're gonna put y'all in there. Yeah, and that was more like five six to eight foot, and about one twenty to three hundred eighty five. That's right and exact. We're not talking about little people. I said one hundred and fifty pound, and I'm big lion. I know these people is two hundred and plus back then, just off height. They could have been slim, but just off of height, y'all. These are big people. So look, we got the weight of the boat. The boat, is, it's a wooden boat. The cargo is roughly 20, 15 to 25,000 pounds, just the cargo. The merchandise or whatever they is. Now, turn around, you get, it's not wind powered. I mean, it's wind powered. It's not sailboat. I mean, it's not any kind of motor power. Now, look at this. The food itself. How much does bread weigh? I don't know. What does a loaf of bread weigh? How many loaves of bread does it take to feed 100 people for six months, three months, two months? Forget the food because Dr. Savy said he went for 64 days without eating, and I believe him. Because I went 44 days and I was feeling in rare form. I was feeling brilliant. Like I could just do backflips. Matter of fact, I was in my cell doing all kind of amazing, amazing things. You know what I'm saying? After after 30, after 44 days of fasting, he said he went 64 and passed out. So let's say they got a little Dr. Sabi in them. So let's say they don't need food. And let's say that they were making this voyage in 60 days. So let's say you didn't feed these Africans. You didn't feed these Negroes. Where's the water? Water. That's why I brought up water and dead weight. When you poke a hole in a ship, it sinks because of the water weight quickly very quickly so if I'm putting this much water in here I don't need a hole in the boat y'all get what I'm saying I don't need to put a hole in the boat when I'm putting this much water on here for the people to drink how else would the people drink you cannot there's no process known to man to turn salt water not not regular salt water not pouring you a little tablespoon of salt in a cup of water and then oh I got made fresh water out of it no real sea water it's unpotable. And then we're talking about 14, 15, 16, 17 hundreds, by the way. So if it's potable now, if you can turn it potable now, which you still can't, you couldn't potable right then. Oh, oh, they were collecting rainwater. Who the hell said it rained? And I don't give a damn. You still got to have containers to collect it in. They didn't have plastic back then. What were they collecting in? Wooden barrels? That weighs. That weighs. Either way, you put the water on the boat with your 20,000 pounds of cargo, your boat sinking. But then you got to do that not a thousand times because a hundred times a thousand is only a hundred thousand. Y'all get the math. Like I'm not, I'm not just throwing it out there like some of these other brothers. I'm actually, and I hate math, y'all. Like I hate math. Like that's why I keep on mentioning my little third grade education. But I know these numbers right here I can use. But I speak mathematics. This is living, breathing. You get what I'm saying? So God ain't blessed me with mental mathematics. He blessed me with. I mean, he didn't bless me with arithmetic. He blessed he blessed me with mental mathematics and vocal mathematics. You know what I'm saying? I, I speak in mathematics. So um, check me out though. Look at the math for this and tell me that I'm wrong. I mean, tell me that. So we bring a thousand times a hundred. Let's say they did this with a hundred people a thousand times. That's only a hundred thousand people. You got to do that ten more times, shout it. You got to do that a thousand times to be a million. I mean, damn. You got to do it more than. That's what I'm saying, y'all. It's just totally impossible, y'all. That, that, the slave trade is debunked right here in this bill. Like, firmly and totally through mathematics from a third grade education. That's just debunked. There's no way possible. I don't give a damn if they had steam-powered engines. And they didn't. They did not. How the hell did you do it a thousand times? Wait, let me see. I'm going to get the map because I don't know how to get the map, but I'm going to get it. Not a million. 
You had to do that a hundred thousand times. You telling me they brought a hundred people over here a hundred thousand times? Ain't that a hundred, a hundred? Yes. Yo, I still ain't got the damn yeah. math there. Yeah, I'm yelling. They all, I'm on some people TV screens and stuff. They all there. I know they kids and stuff jumping like, hey, what are you mad about? Hey, like, yes. Oh, 380 times a thousand, 338. Impossible. Impossible. It's impossible. It's impossible. Slave trade is officially debunked, and I never want to hear it again. It's debunked. The transatlantic part. How long we been in here? Going on three hours? Shall we proceed? Let's keep building. I'm in rare form. Yeah, y'all. if y'all need a break or something, y'all go take a little break or something. For those that say work to y'all employer, I say, hiya, pal. You know what I'm saying? Welcome, everybody. Make sure y'all hit that like button and get some more like-minded people in here. Let's keep building. Hey, I don't know how you know, but you know, girl. That's my best right there. Now, look. We're going to keep it all the way sincere up in this chat. The transatlantic slave trade has officially been debunked, caught, flipped, cooked, and put a fork in it. It's done. Like, it's literally done, y'all. Like, I never want to hear that brung up again. It's so done. Like, it's so done through. That's what I want people to see. Like, we two, we two children of the same father. Like, at the end of the day, no, but Drew Ali, who I openly attest, was my teacher. Y'all know I've been saying this. I've been here since, tw what, 2018? December? I've been here since November 2018, y'all. And ain't nobody challenged me for that. Yeah, they make slanderous comments and stuff. But ain't nobody challenged me on no, but Drew Ali, y'all, because I'm... Y'all know. That's my teacher. I'm a student of Noble Drew Ali, a master etymologist. I'm a master builder. The only master builder on YouTube, period. The only one on YouTube. Yeah, there's other builders on YouTube cooler than my children. But at the same time, I'm the only master builder on YouTube. And they got to show and prove. They can't master build. They got to show and prove their building skills with me face-to-face -face or here on YouTube, face-to-face. -face. I mean, it don't matter. But you got to show that you can build on all topics consistently for at least three hours. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's, that's the point. Like, three is the uh, mastery. We're going to give them that. We ain't going to make them build to the four. That's the culture. But we're going to give them three. That's the uh, mastery. But listen, y'all, for those that's in the chat, man, I appreciate y'all for rocking with me. Y'all been here a long time. A lot of y'all been here. For those of y'all that don't know how to contact, listen, if y'all rocking with me, we need a study group off of YouTube, y'all, because I got information for y'all, like, real talk. If y'all can't contact me off Instagram at Chief Savvy Indigenous, if you can't contact me off Instagram, contact me by email, The Mud Tribe. That's T H E M U H D T R I B E, or Savvy Indigenous at gmail.com. Contact me. I'm telling y'all, like, this is, this is not nothing I think, this is not nothing I assume, or nothing, y'all. The end times draw near. World War Three has already started. They're warring right now and we don't even realize it. Right here in America. <laughs> We're being targeted at a higher rate than ever in history. Right here in America. We're being violated and losing rights as Americans. Right here in America. There's going to be bombs and shit dropping all across our head and nuclear shit right here in America, y'all. Like, so contact me. Some shit ain't for the internet. Some shit ain't for YouTube. You know what I'm saying? Some shit is for YouTube and some shit just got to be declared. But I'm just not ready for them to take my channel down. But just... Y'all contact me, man. Like, for real, for real. Like, if you want some plus lessons, we're going to call these my internet lessons is the... Uh, internet lessons but if y'all want some plus lessons you know what i'm saying just contact me you know what i'm saying because this ain't i do this shit all day like for real for real i build all day and y'all know it uh i am indigenous realist the realist uh i am indigenous realist the realist the realist the realist uh i am indigenous realist the realist the realist the realist uh i am indigenous go go 50 on me not stacks talking about caliber i'm the realist I do this shit without a fucking manager. Whoa. These nigga feds, they got white boys over them, they handle it. Cops, straight scammers, lead 
Pulling out the community like scavengers. Kill em. I am indigenous, raised by the tribe, not villagers. I have no time for the villagers, still stay threat like diligent. Bang! You don't hear it, but you feel it, bro. I kill a beat like a scrimmage. I gang tea like a damage. Pull you too like a blemish. Can't let a dude stop my mission. You to gang bang, kind of crib. Now I bring out for the children. Bang real hard for humanity of living. Me through phones, they be glitching. Key favorite code sports is image. Damn. Got a passion for knowledge, plus I'm glifted. Raised up high on my square, I'm uplifted. <laughs> Y'all ain't even hear me say glifted, right? <laughs> like, like hieroglyphed, like, like glifted. Like, you know, I put like lifted with glyphs. Man, y'all get that shit, you know what I'm saying? I'm indigenous and realist, the motherfucking realist, and I'm gone. Shout out to Louis B. Spielderberg. I hope I did him justice.